Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we are finally considering our legacy challenge. So I checked to see when the last time I uploaded this one and uh, when was the last time I uploaded this one? And it said one month. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's been that long. Time is seriously flying so fast for me. Um, but I just wanted to apologize for depriving you guys of legacy challenge for so long But I can't express to you how excited I am to film this today. I hope you guys are doing really good I hope you had a great weekend. I did I've been pretty busy lately actually um, It was my grandparents 50th anniversary and then it was my grandpa's birthday the next day and uh, I've been streaming on Twitch more and it's been really really fun every Friday so hopefully if you if you guys haven't been able to come to one yet you will in the future i do want to stream a little bit earlier one day so that um, some of my people on the other side of the world can join too so i plan on doing that and we are well on our way to 100k <laughs> we reached 91 yesterday i'm seriously counting down the days i cannot wait so if you haven't subscribed yet it would be so cool if you could help me out so I could get to 100k. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we have a lot to do today, so I am going to go ahead and jump into this episode. I made a little list of things that we're going to be doing just so I don't forget. I hope you guys are excited. I love you. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, guys, here we are back on the Legacy Lot. It's a nice, lovely, rainy day. It looks like our plants, for some reason, are regrowing, even though they're sheltered. Even the ones in here are regrowing. I'm not really sure why it does that, but uh, yeah, we won't have any money from plants for a while. Look at her go. Get inside, it's raining! <laughs> Anyways, so it is summer and we are currently having a thunderstorm, heavy rain, very cool. And it's so funny when we're in our, um, when I'm in the world view, oh my God, where are we going? <laughs> when I'm in the world view, the legacy lot is the only house that has a green footprint. Everywhere else is neutral. I think it's because of how many plants we have. But anyway, let's see what's going on. What's everyone doing? Charlie is having a drink of water. Stella is very, very silly trolling the forums. Ren is depressed. She's still very sad from losing Olive and I don't blame her. Alice is doing her homework. Very good girl. Anyway, let me give you a little refresher. Oh my God, that's loud. This is Zoe. She is the new heir and her trait is... A geek. So the geek trait has been passed down from generation to generation. Charlie has it. Olive had it. Who had it before Olive? Zara had it. <laughs> so it's going strong. And then we have her brother Felix. He is creative. I think that's really, really cute. And he's so adorable. He's really sad from Olive dying too, but we aged him up in the last episode and this is how he, ha is how he looks as a kid. Really cute. I love all his little face moles. They're so adorable. Who else we got here? Oh, right. Miss Luna. <laughs> She's the youngest little bean. She's so, so, so cute. We named her Luna because of Stella's mom, Lana, and because Stella is a spellcaster. It just kind of like fit together. But unfortunately, Miss Luna here is not a spellcaster. So, wait. That's weird. She has weak bloodline though. Very, very strange. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens when she ages up. <laughs> so basically everyone is just really sad. Oh no, Batman, what's the matter? Oh, okay. He's fine. <laughs> uh, everyone is really, really sad from the passing of Olive, which is very understandable. I took some photos off camera and hung them around the house. Just some little family photos here and there. We've got those two. We've got little Felix right here. We've got Stella and Zoe there. And then I put big portraits of the kids right here above the dining table. I thought that was kind of cute. And then I added, I added some over here too, just some little ones. We've got Ren with her mixology over here. We've got uh, that one's been there, Olive and Oliver, um, <clears throat> Felix and Felix and his dad. <gasps> so yeah, we got some little family photos around now. I kind of really want this house to have like that big family feel, like lots of kids projects everywhere, lots of family photos. So I kind of want to buy one of those um, kidsy, kid, kidsy, kid art tables and um, have them make crafts all the time all that good stuff. 
All right, I just put a few outside so that they can do some crafts because there was like literally no room inside, unfortunately. What's this? Aww. Oh my god, it's like a little archaeology table, but it's a small version. Oh my god, that's so cute. This is CC. Uh, this is from the Tiny Twavlos CC set. That's really cute. I like that a lot. What's this? Oh my god, one of them came with a, um, a eco lifestyle. Oh, cute! Cute, cute, cute. I love it, I love it. Okay, well, so let's have a look at the calendar. Um, oh right, so basically Stella's birthday was on Tuesday, so, and I knew we were gonna miss it because I was working with my Rags to Riches family, I was working on getting them into the legacy, like, world, like, placing their house and all their friends and all that stuff, so that took some time, so I just decided to move Stella's birthday to the same day as Alice's so that we could just celebrate together. So yeah, if you're wondering why that moved, that's why. So in uh, one day, we've got Stella and Alice's birthday. And um, I was kind of thinking maybe we should go to Selva Dorada again to celebrate. Since Alice loves that kind of stuff, like archaeology and exploring and collecting, I feel like if they asked Alice what she wanted to do, that that's what, what, that's what she would say. I want to go back to Selva Dorada. I remember going when we when I was a kid and I absolutely loved it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna plan on doing tomorrow. I'm pretty excited. And uh, I asked you guys if we should humanize Alice and the response I got was extremely shocking. I thought that you guys would want her to stay a vampire but heavily, heavily, heavily wanted her to be human. So um, yeah, so it was all about me thinking about how I wanted to do it. And I think that Ren would be really really pissed off to hear that Alice wants to be human so um oh my gosh oh my gosh and she oh from seeing mounted fish I thought she wanted to go to the ocean um so I'm thinking maybe we should get Alice to after she finishes her homework to ask Ren if she can be human as we all know Alice has been like a super depressed teen just moping around everywhere not very happy with life and I think it's probably because she she goes to school with a bunch of normal kids and her whole friend group, all of them are human. None of them are vampires. She's never really grown up around like the vampire lifestyle. Ren is really the only other vampire she knows. And since Ren wants to be a good vampire, it kind of seems like she isn't one. I mean, she is, but at the same time, like she isn't because she doesn't drink from humans. She likes to eat human food. She, at her core, she is a vampire, but really she tries to fit in with humans as much as she can. And I think that kind of confuses Alice. If Ren maybe had a different aspiration that wasn't good vampire, where she like fully embraced her vampirism, then Alice maybe would understand more. But I don't think she does, like, at all. She's like, why can't I just be normal like these all these other kids around me? Why do I have to bring an umbrella every time I go outside? Why can't I go in the ocean? Why can't I suntan? I love the ocean so much. Like, I just want to be able to do those things. <laughs> Here comes the storm. Um, and with her, like, collector aspiration and her archaeology, her love for archaeology, like, she just wants to be able to go outside and explore and not have to worry about dying and, like, having to, like, feed on plasma and all that kind of stuff. She's just, it's just not the life for her. And I think we can all agree, but Ren, it's it's a weird situation because Ren couldn't get pregnant, so she figured, well, maybe if I try with a vampire, it'll work. And if I do try with a vampire, then my baby will live forever. <laughs> and so she was like, that's a win-win, so I'm gonna try and find a vampire guy that will uh, supply me with a child. And so she did. Um, and I'm sure Ren would be really upset to hear that Alice doesn't even want to be a vampire, like, at all. But at the same time, it's like, she can't be mad because she just went and turned herself into a vampire without talking to anyone about it. Like, she didn't ask her mom. She didn't do anything. She just went out and turned into a vampire without telling anybody. So, at the same time, Ren can't be mad at Alice for 
kind of wanting the same thing, but really the opposite. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe we get Alice to ask Ren. Maybe they can go inside their own home and talk about it for a second. Look, Alice is talking to her about being a vampire right now. So she's just like starting this conversation like, oh, mom, what made you want to be a vampire? <laughs> um, and then let's see what we, oh my gosh, Ren is like so, look, she's talking about vampires again. Okay, well, I didn't even tell them to do that, so that aligns. All right, well, I'm just having them have a deep conversation. Oh my gosh, this thunder. She's like, well, mom, I know that you know that my birthday's coming up and I would really love to go to Selva Dorada. And Ren's like, that's a great idea. I remember how much fun you had last time we went, so that's great. Oh, she came and sat next to Ren. This is getting serious. <laughs> they keep singing. Stop singing and talk. <laughs> and Alice can be like, well, you know, the only issue is I can't go out and do anything during the day because I'm a freaking vampire. And I don't want to be a vampire, Mom. Can I please be human? Can you humanize me? I know you can do it. Please humanize me. You make like some kind of co concoction with the frog, right? <laughs> please, Mom. And Ren's like, what? Absolutely not. Later. Oh my gosh, this child. Stella, can you please discipline? Ren keeps running away. Demand independence. Oh my god, that's great. Mom, I'm almost a young adult. I need to be able to do what I want. And I don't want to be a vampire. I want to explore. I want to go out in the sun. Ren, stop walking away. No, you cannot escape this conversation. You just can't. She's talking about vampires again. They're arguing about it. Ren is not okay with it, obviously. I worked so hard to make you a vampire. I want you to be able to live forever and do whatever you want. If you study your vampirism more, you can learn to walk in the sun like I do. She's like, but I don't want to. I don't want to live forever. I want to meet someone and grow old and have kids. Just let me. You didn't ask your mom to become a vampire, so why do I have to ask you to not be one? This is the only thing I want for my birthday, mom. The only thing. But I'll lose you. She's like, I don't care. This is not your life, it's mine. You're the one who wanted to live forever. If you didn't want to deal with the hard things in life, maybe you shouldn't have become a vampire. You are not becoming human, and that is final. She's like, well, if you won't make me the potion, then I'll just figure out how to do it myself. Oh, that's the end. I wonder how much that damaged their relationship. Oh, not very much, actually. I'm surprised. Um, why didn't it tell me that Stella got hit by lightning and was dying? <gasps> oh my god. 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 No. No. How is this? We just started this episode! I don't know if it's too late. It looks like Grimm's already putting his iPad away. Oh my god. Are we really about to lose Stella? Oh my god, you guys. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Ren, teleport. Give death flower. Oh no, I can't, I'm scared. Usually when a sim dies, it cams the pan the camera to them. I think it was because I was in tab mode. Oh my God, you guys. I've never had this happen before. I've never had a sim die from being struck by lightning. What the heck was she even doing outside anyways? All right, fingers crossed this works, but it might be too late. Oh no! Oh no! Ren! What are you doing? Where are you? Oh my god, oh my god. I think we're about to lose Stella. Oh no, what are we supposed to do then after the- Oh my god. How are we supposed to have ten kids if we, if we freaking lose Stella? You guys, I'm- fr <sighs> This is not fair. This is not fair. Oh, okay, he put his little- he put his scythe away. 
Ren, stop trying to run inside. It's fine. Where even are you? <sighs> okay, maybe we should give Alice one and then have her try it since she's standing right there. What? When did Batman die? You guys. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Yes, give him the flower. Take the flower. Stella hasn't broken it. Oh my god. That was too freaking close for comfort. Okay, bring her back to life. But oh my god, Batman. No. Did he die of old age or did... Bring her back to life, Grim, please. Okay, I literally don't see anything about Batman in the notifications. Why is she not rising? There. I can't tell you how many freaking screenshots I have of Sims being revived by those dang death flowers. Oh my god, Stella. Jeez, dude. I seriously can't with you. Now you're slipping in puddles. All right, beautiful. You gave me a heart attack right now. This family, this freaking family. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> uh, okay, well in the graveyard you go for now until Charlie dies. Now everyone is just sad, so they're just mourning everyone. I mean, I love that Max is here, but like... Anyway, now that we've had our um, senses jolted awake from that... <laughs> yes, who's calling? Who died? Oh my god, no! Kingston? But how? We're the same age! Oh my god, he was an elder. Wow, he was a lot older than Charlie. Okay, well... His mom died, and now his best friend died. He's having a rough patch, I think. Poor Charlie. Dude, are you kidding me? Where? Where's the fire, and why is it starting? Oh, crap. Uh... Okay. Perfect. That was fine. Nothing too drastic there. <laughs> and Olive's like, heck yeah, Ren, you go. It's good to see you, Olive. Ask about being dead. Ren, you're dead too. You already know what it's like. What are these two beans doing out here? You guys okay? What do you need, Felix? You're fine. You're just really sad from death. Oh my god. That's really sad that these kids have to go through so much death in their lives. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, well, today's the day that we're going to Selva Dorada. Hopefully there won't be any more deaths. Oh, and you know what else I wanted to do for Ren? I really want to... Oh, she has so many satisfaction points. Holy crap. I want to get the vampire thing. The retrading thing that will reset her weaknesses. Oh, it might be a drink, actually. Ah, here we go. Drought of Reconfiguration. I'm pretty sure this is it. So we need some Wolfsbane, we need some Garlic, and we need some Plasma Fruit. Okay. Can do. I know that we have Wolfsbane. Oh shoot, but our freaking plants. They're, um... Man, they're all small now. Oh my gosh, look you guys! Our Wolfsbane flower plants are perfect. I rarely pay attention to the plants over here, but... Wow, they're doing pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna get everyone to take a vacation day from school. Oh my gosh, so depressing. Okay, since our plants are not grown, we have to purchase all of the ingredients on uh, the computer. How many plasma fruits do we have? None, and I think our trees, yep. Okay, so we gotta buy those as well, which is kind of annoying. But whatever. At least we have the money for it. Okay, I think we have everything we need now. Let's have a look. Let's go to the bar. Let's go to the bar, Ren. Come on, let's go. Let's make this. Make drink. Make drink. Um, Drought of reconfiguration. Okay, Ren, let's get it. I'm tired of you being depressed all the time. I really am. We need to change that. Here we go. It's a good thing we worked on that freaking mixology skill, huh? This is coming in handy now. So unnecessary, but okay. <laughs> She's such a show off. 
So I asked you guys about Alma, the girl that she uh, went on a date with, and I asked you if you liked her or not. Ooh, look at that. That actually looks quite delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so some of you guys liked her and some of you didn't. It was very 50-50. Let's get you out of this sad funk, okay? Mmm. Tasty. When Ren Campos drank the route configuration, her powers were reset. Okie dokie then. 46 power points. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is very exciting. So I took a picture of what she had before because I just wanted to compare. So I'm thinking that maybe we should do... Let's definitely do Guilty Drinker. Let's do... Withered Stomach. That one really doesn't bother me. I don't want the uncontrollable hissing one. Don't want that one for sure. Sloppy Drinker. Uh, fitful Sleep. Power gain is reduced while sleeping. Only able to sleep in coffins. I'm okay with that. Weaker during the day. That sucks. Why would I want that? Oh my god. Relationships with other sims will start off negative. Ugh. Okay, let's do Sloppy Drinker. That one doesn't really bother me much either. Definitely don't want Eternal Sadness. That was the whole reason why we did this. So... Ugh. I guess this is really the only one we can choose. Power gain is reduced while sleeping. Bummer. Oh well. <laughs> this weakness thing really puts a damper on things, doesn't it? Okay, so... I really like the bat one. That one truly comes in handy. Detect personality. I forgot we could do this. We've been trying to learn all, all everyone's traits organically. Visiting their frontal lobe. Okay, I want that still. Do we want this one again? Do I don't know. Do we want people to keep flirting with her? Ooh, this... Uh, fitness sparring or fighting. Gain the power to turn other sims into vampires. That could be interesting too. You guys, look at this one. Gain the power to drain life spirit from other sims or restore life spirit from those who have been drained. Does that mean she can like bring people back to life when they die? Because that would be so handy, wouldn't it? Unlocks true power over life itself. Enables Ren to protect the one she loves or simply refresh it. <gasps> okay, let's try that one. Irresistible slumber put another sim to sleep. <laughs> but why though? Child of the Moon becomes stronger at nighttime. I really liked this. So I think we'll do three of those. What's this one? Put another sim into a trance. Dampened emotions. Become more resistant to changes in emotions. Ren's emotions are cool and calm. Not for her. Not for her are the petty peeves and lust of the flesh. That's hmm. That would be nice. It would be like a 360 from how she is now, huh? We definitely need the sun resistance though, so let me just make sure that we have enough for that. And then tamed thirst we definitely need. Let's just do the dampened emotions one, so she's not so dramatic all the time, you know? Okay, she no longer has vampiric charm before we had three out of three for that one. Holy cannoli. All right, there you go, Ren. I hope your life is better this way, love. I really do. Please stop looking at the mounted fish. You know what? I'm gonna lock this door. <laughs> lock door for everyone. Y'all don't need to go down here anyway. Oh, but the freaking cauldron. Oh, but there's one upstairs. Okay, well, that's taken care of. And I feel so much better now. We don't have to hear her cry all the time. Let me show you guys the family tree too. Um, Cause I know that some of y'all have been wanting to see it. Okay, so we've got Carlos and Savannah up here. We've got their kid, Max, and then Max and Zara, his wife, not wife, I guess they, they never married. His girlfriend, Zara, had Olive and um, Oliver. For some reason, he's not showing up. Maybe I have to... Ah, yes, here we go. This makes more sense. Okay, Carlos and Savannah had Max. Zara, those are Zara's parents. Zara and Max had... Um, Oliver and Olive, and Zara had her own kid with Alexander, who is Dorian. Max had his own kid with April, who is Max Jr. And then um, Olive had Charlie with Orange, <gasps> who is here. And then Charlie and Stella have these three kids here. 
And then if we go to Savannah here, this is where Ren is. We've got Ren, or yeah, Ren and Max. Ren had Alice with Caleb. Um, oh my gosh, that's so cool. We can see Caleb's side too. Who's this, I wonder? I want to know who Caleb's parents are. Okay, well, Ren um, is best friends with Lilith, who is Caleb's sister. Ren asked Lilith if Caleb would be able to help her get pregnant, so that's why Caleb is Alice's dad. Um, Caleb and Ren are just friends. I originally planned on them to be together, but he went off and married someone else. Rosemary, who, um, that's very weird, it's Alice's stepmom. <laughs> She's a master magician, too. Uh, but anyway, she's not a vampire, so she's gonna die soon. And I guess they had a kid together. Greg. Okay, Alice, so you have a half-brother. Holy can I- What the- What's wrong with your eyes? Oh my god, what- What the- Okay, Caleb had some other kids, too? With who? <gasps> Caleb! Oh my gosh, he's going around having babies with so many people. Our tree is a lot more extended than I originally thought. Okay, so Rosemary and Caleb had Greg, then Caleb had Alice with Ren, and then Caleb and this lady, Kayla, had Jacob and Tyler. What else have you done? Any more kids that we should know about? Okay, it doesn't look like it, but it looks like Caleb already has a grandkid, Dwight. What about Lilith? Okay, you just have the two kids that we know about. Donna and Bri Bri Byron. Who's the dad? Curtis Carson. Death by old age. Why are you and your brother having kids with non-vampires? Or like, yeah. They're just gonna die and you're gonna be like sad about it. Whoa, okay. Rosemary's got like a whole family. Alden and Lucia. Oh, that's so funny. Savannah, the first sim that we started with was like friends with these two. They would always come to our garage sales. Okay. Oh! Oh my goodness! Okay, so, um, Jaquan, who is Alice's friend, is Caleb's... No, Ca yeah, Caleb's wife's brother. Holy cannoli, this is so <laughs> confusing. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's quite confusing, isn't it? Hold on, let's go back to the family tree here. Let's go to Stella. Right, so her dad was Trace, her mom was Lana, then there's Cameron, Kane, Ryan, and Stella. Oh my god! Ryan has kids! <gasps> Ryan and Riley. Okay, Ryan and Riley- wait a minute. Hold on. I think they only have one kid together. Gregory. Joe Holiday? Who's your mom? You guys, this is so confusing. So, so, this is supposed to be summer holiday. She married Tane, who was Olive's friend. He has a kid on his own. She has a kid on her, with, with who? On, with someone. I'm not gonna go deeper into this tree. But wow, Ryan has a kid with, oh my goodness, okay, wow. What about you, Kane? Do you have any kids? Oh my god, you do. You have a freaking alien son. What in the world? <laughs> Candace Knox is one of your guys' sims, and she was an alien. And Kane had a baby with her. Wow, okay. What about you, Cameron? You have three children. Holy cannoli. With who, though? Who's the father? Tomax Colette? Okay, you have two kids with him, and then you have this one kid with Brennan F And then he has a kid with someone that's not you. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, Orange died. <gasps> when did that happen? How is Thorn still alive? Wow. I wonder if Orange had kids with anyone else. No, his only kid was Charlie. Oh, we didn't even know that he died. He might have died at the same time as Olive did, and that's why he's, like, extra sad. <gasps> oh my god! Kyla and Alvin had a kid! Da- da- Davion? Davi- Stepson? Alvin already had a child when- when he married her. Max Jr. doesn't have any kids yet. Alright guys, there you go. There is that super confusing family tree. 
Mail has been delivered, huh? Charlie, do you mind? All right, well, I guess it's time to go over to Selva Dorada. Okay, here we go, guys. We are going on vacation. We have one more person. We have room for one more person to invite, but I don't know if I want to. Should we invite Dorian? I feel bad inviting Dorian, but not inviting Max. Who haven't we seen in a while? Let's do Max. I'm so excited to go back. I love me some Selva Dorada. Hopefully we can find some new plants too. This is really the only place we can go because it has <laughs> the proper amount of beds that we need. Um, how long should we stay? Three days? That should be enough time to do everything that we want to do. Okie dokie! Here we are, back at Selva Dorada, and Alice is already freaking sizzling. Okay, come inside, darling. Come inside. All right, so first things first, I would like to decorate the place a little bit. So I'm gonna turn on free build. All right, guys, there we go. I just added some nice balloons everywhere. Okay, Ren, can you please come over here and cook? Ew, why is there spoiled food in the freaking <laughs> fridge here? That's disgusting. Let's make her, I wish we could put candles on a pie. I think that would be cute. Let's make her a blue confetti cake. These two beans are so sad still from uh, the death of their Grammy, which is really sad. All right, guys, Stella's just busted in a move. What's Alice gonna do? Wait, who's calling you? I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my condolences. Aw, Sheena, thank you. Max, you and your skincare. I swear to God that Max Jr. is gay. Definitely, like he just, I don't know. I just get the vibe from him. He hasn't gotten like married or had any kids either, so I don't know. And I didn't give him this shirt. <laughs> he picked that out himself. Hi, Bean. How are you? Are you happy now? Yay! You do need a shower, so why don't you go ahead and do that? Aw. I'm glad you're trying to enjoy yourself. <laughs> so cute. Aww, she's chasing a butterfly. That is so cute. Okay, let's see you slide. Let's go. <laughs> well, aren't you just the cutest bean ever? Add birthday candles and then give food to Luna, please. Give her some peas. It's so weird how the bathroom is off of the kitchen, isn't it? <gasps> Who grabbed a piece? Oh my gosh. No, that wasn't for you. Maybe we should invite uh, Alice's friends over. I know that we have a club. I swear we had a club. We had a club with Sheena and... And Jaquan, who else? And Kate. Oh, maybe we should invite over Greg too. He is our half brother. Charlie made some clam chowder for everyone. Call to meal. Except for you, Ren, please don't eat it. What is this from? Dampen emotions. The absence of emotion is the finest feeling. Well, I didn't want her to be completely absent. I just wanted it to not be as dramatic. <laughs> oh, well. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. Add candles. Perfect, okay. Oh, this is so cute. The little balloons match the cake and everything. <sighs> okay, so I'm thinking maybe Alice. Yeah, okay. What are you doing? Practice debate. Interesting. Let's go ahead and invite, invite to join vacation. The house is full. But I just want them to come hang out. Can we cheat it? Oh, we can. Yes! That works, that works, that works, that works. Felix is still lounging. Baby, go eat, please. Come on, you've been in that pool for so long, you're gonna turn into a prune. Okay, why don't you come and say hi to your friends? What's up, guys? Thanks for coming to celebrate with me. So, oh, Max Jr. came to join. <laughs> So I asked my mom about becoming a human because I know you guys told me that I should ask since I don't want to be a vampire anymore. And she said no. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to be a human until I go to college and until I learn how to make this uh, vampire reversal cocktail. I'll figure it out. 
I'll figure it out. They're like, good for you, Alice. You need to take control of your own life. You need to do what you want to do. I know that your mom wants to keep you forever, but honestly, it's not her decision. That's exactly what I said. Now I'm annoyed. <laughs> oh, what are they doing? Oh, sharing a secret. Cute. So cute. How old is this guy again? I wonder. I think he would be a good match for Max Jr. Oh, here's Greg. Okay, we gotta give him a makeover. Okay, so this is Alice's half-brother. It is Caleb and Rosemary's child. Uh, Rosemary has red hair and Caleb has like dark hair. Oh, Caleb. I miss him. I don't think these are the brows that I gave you. There, that's better. Um, so for when Alice ages up, uh, ages up, I need to remember his traits too. Ambitious, foodie, and materialistic. Oh, his aspiration's good vampire too. I feel like I already knew that, but I forgot. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think Rosemary died. I don't see her here. That means Caleb is a single Pringle. It's exciting. So he's a natural cook and an angler. Okay, well, let's have a look at you then. Let's take off all this nonsense. Ooh, honey, those ears. He has wiggly eyebrows, you guys. They're freaking wiggly. How am I supposed to work with that? Look at that, they're literally wavy. What the heck? Okay, those are like the only normal looking ones. <laughs> so let's see what we can do for you. That skin detail actually looks prime. So we're gonna go with that. Oh, you're already looking so much better. Where did you get those ears from, though? Your mom didn't have them, neither did your dad, but okay. I think Rosemary had red eyes, so we can keep that. Let's give you some fangies. Um, what else? What else? What else? He has pretty chubby cheeks, but he's pretty cute, guys. And the long hair covers his, um... His lovely and unique ears, for sure. Okay, I kind of like this. All right, guys, here is Greg's makeover. It's way, way, way better than what he had before. I like that he has his mom's red hair. I think it's kind of like a little nod to her. Kind of sad that she already died, but I was really pissed off when I found out Caleb got married. So at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Since his son is here, and since Alice is here, and that's his daughter as well, maybe we should invite him too for the festivities. All right, what time is it? Five o'clock? Why is everyone so tense? There was a fire? Don't brag about your grades, Alice. That's not nice. Did Caleb come? Why is it always so hard to get that guy over? Oh, there he is. He was upstairs. Come say hi to your dad. Come hug him. It's been so long since you've seen him. Oh my god, Ren just walked by him like uh, like she didn't even know him. Hi, dad. Thanks for coming. She can be like, so I don't know if mom told you, but I asked her if I could become human and she said no. Did you guys talk about it at all? How do you feel about the whole thing? It's like, wait, really? You want to become a human? Well, let me tell you a secret. I wanted to be human once too. <laughs> One of you guys wanted, um, wanted Caitlyn specifically. Hi, Caitlyn. You wanted me to, um, have Alice ask Ren to turn her into human. And when she said no, for Alice to run to Caleb and be like, Dad, I want to be human. Can you please change me? And then Caleb did it behind Ren's back. Um, I kind of feel like that would completely ruin Ren and Caleb's relationship, though, because they're, like, completely fine now. And if that did happen, I can't see Ren being okay with Caleb. Like, just doing that behind her back, so... Yeah. I didn't want to do that, but that's definitely, like, super spicy. <laughs> Look at how cute this is! Everyone is just, like, spending some time together and dancing. I love it. Kate, your shoes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well... Was there anything else we wanted to do before we age Alice up into a young adult? I mean, she's an A student, which is good. How are her... How are, how are her thingies? She's got manners and she's almost responsible, so we should, like, make her responsible really quick. So let's get her to brush her teeth a few times, just so she can have that upbringing trait. Who's calling Charlie? Aww. I'm sorry, Dorian, but we're actually on vacation right now. I would have invited you, but... The house is full. 
All right, babes, let's get that responsibility up and up and up. Perfect, okay, I think we are ready to age her up then. So can everyone please come in the kitchen? Come on, everyone celebrate. Happy birthday. Yay. <laughs> All these girls, I love them. I kind of, ever since New Year's, I kind of feel like Ren and Stella would be like best friends. A spellcaster and a vampire best friend, how cute is that? <gasps> Aww, look at that. So cute. Hold on. I want to get a good screenshot of that. I love it. Okay, so now we have to figure out Alice's last trait. I'm so nervous. All right, so Art Lover was unique. So I think the last trait she's going to get is going to be one of these six right here. Oh god, I'm nervous. Uh, I'm so nervous, you guys. Please be something good. Please be something that aligns with her story. Please. Childish? Where the heck did she get childish from? That's a unique trait. Oh my gosh, okay. Interesting. I mean, it's not horrible. And I kind of like that it's like a trait that contributes to her personality. Maybe she got like a little bit of the goofball gene from Ren, just in a different way. Childish. These sims gain powerful moodless from watching the kids network become playful when playing with children and become happy when playing with children's toys. All right. There you go, Alice. An art lover, child of the ocean, and childish. Okay. So cute. Happy birthday, darling. Ren, why don't you come and hug your daughter and tell her that you love her and that uh, you hope she had a happy birthday. Happy birthday, my love. Can you come outside with me really quick? I have something that I want to tell you. So Ren can be like, I thought about what you said. And when you brought up the point that I didn't ask my mom to become a vampire, I mean, you're totally right. I was very selfish. And the fact that you are even, like, asking me to become a human means a lot. So here, happy birthday. If you guys can guess what it is, it's the vampire cure! Ren finally gave in. She's like, Mom, no freaking way. I'm gonna go explore the world. I'm gonna go to the beach every single day. I'm gonna play basketball in the sun. Thank you so much, Mom. You are seriously the best. And I know, I'm gonna age, I'm gonna grow old, but I still have a lot of life to live. Thanks, Mom. All right, let's have her take this bad boy. <sighs> She's like, how's it taste? Good? <gasps> oh my God, you guys. That was it? <laughs> I thought it would be like way more dramatic than that. Are you a vampire still? She's not. <sighs> How do you feel, Ren? Are you sad? Maybe she thought about it and was like, you know what? I have my entire life to live. Alice is probably not the last baby that I'm gonna have. And I'm living my life the way that I want and I want her to have the same. Aw, everyone is so stinky. Ren, why don't you take a shower first and then I'll send Felix. Well, that's that, you guys. Alice is now a human and no longer a vampire. Ren's feeling good. She's feeling pretty playful. She doesn't have a single negative moodlet. She's no longer a hot girl bummer, as you guys said. <laughs> Uh, I think she's satisfied with life. She's satisfied with the choices that she's made, and I'm super proud of her. So, I was kind of thinking now... Oh, shoot, we have to age up Stella as well. You bunghole! I was just about to put freaking candles on that! 
Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Stella can have a sugar-free coconut cake then, since she's like into wellness and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. I want Ren to cook it. You, you shouldn't have to cook your own cake. Look it! She's excited! Oh my gosh, vampire no more! The curse of vampirism has been lifted. The savings in dental bills alone are a reason to celebrate. Aww. I'm so happy that she's happy. That's really, really nice. Okay. All right, come on, Stella. Come, make a wish. Let's make sure all your kids are here. Happy birthday to you. Aww. All the confetti, how sweet. Yay! <laughs> Stella, you are now an adult. How very exciting. Yay. Happy birthday, Mom. All right, Charlie, come hug her. Happy birthday, babe. Do you remember last time we were here? I engaged to you. Ew, he's all smelly. Look at Max Jr. He's like, they're so cute. I want that for myself. What you got there, Alice? A doll? Oh my gosh, she's childish and she's already playing with toys. Play with emotion. You can play with emotion as a young adult? Oh my god, that's so hilarious! I've never seen an adult do this before. Oh, look at you, Bean, with your little braces. What happened to your eyes? Those are not the eyes I gave you. Well, anyway, I was thinking that maybe we can go traveling with Ren a little bit. Holy crap, look at all these freaking traits. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Also, when it showed that Ren's birthday was on the calendar, I think that it was a... Uh, I think that it was a mistake because it just like disappeared after that. Since Alice has this collector thing, I'm gonna get her to come over here and collect whatever this is. An amethyst! Fire opal! I bet she's so happy. The sun's coming out and it's so hot. She's like, holy crap, this is my first time being in the sun and not dying. I'm gonna go for a jog. Let's get it, you guys. Look at how happy she is. Wait, can we catch these? No? Aww, you can catch the bugs in uh, Granite Falls. Why can't we do it here? Go, Alice. It's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' go running in the sun like it's your birthday. <laughs> cute. So cute. All right, Ren, darling. You take that shower and then come on over here. Let's get you out of this fancy outfit if you're gonna go jungle exploring. Oh my gosh, we can take Alice with us! <gasps> okay, we definitely need to do that. Alice, darling, come on over here! Alright, let's, um, let's add her to the group. Form group, Ren. Okay, and then put you in your in ex let's put you in your explorer outfit. What tree is this? Ooh, avocado. Thanks. Okay, Alice left. It looks like she went on her own uh little journey. <sighs> okay, um, I guess we should go this way. I'm probably gonna forward through all of this since it's a lot of like boring traveling, but when something exciting happens, I'll definitely show it. Look, look, Alice! Established excavation site? I don't know what that means, but this is her first time actually doing it in Selva Dorada instead of at her little table. So this is very exciting. Cute. Congrats on your recent birthday. Thanks, you were with us. Excavate together. Oh my gosh, they can do it together. That is so cute. Aww. She's like, see, mom, if I wasn't a human right now, I wouldn't be able to be doing this with you. She's like, ah, good point. Very good point. I'm just glad you're happy. Now let's freaking excavate this site, shall we? Is it hot? Do you want to be in your hot weather outfit? This is so heartwarming, you guys. It's handy because... Alice has a high archaeology skill and Ren has high skill in like everything else. 
So it makes it really easy for them to travel around the jungle. What's up, Ren? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Really, Caleb? You want to give someone else our number instead of asking us out yourself? Okay, whatever, dude. Oh no, Kane is an elder now. <gasps> no! Oh, he's gonna be gone soon. Oh, that's so sad. That's a very sad day. <sighs> All right, well, I think maybe we should open this treasure chest. I don't know, there could be something good in there. Hopefully she doesn't turn into a freaking skeleton. Oh, we just got some simoleons. That's it. Alrighty. Okay, guys, it looks like we made it somewhere special. A Miskin Royal Baths. Oh, that's actually so pretty. Look at it. Wow, can we swim in here? So cool! This was the last place that we could go, but it says, This path is sealed shut and cannot be opened on this trip. Perhaps the next vacation it'll open up. Okay, fine, Sims, if you insist. <laughs> I'm just gonna get, get Alice to excavate a little bit mo more. Okay, well... I don't think there's anything else we can do here, which is kind of a bummer, but it is very pretty. All right, Zoe has just mastered the social skill by talking to her brother. Felix is nowhere near mastering any of his skills. She's almost mastered her um her motor skill too. I would really like for her to do that. We can kick a soccer ball with Felix. Where did that go? I want to do that. Here we go. Alice is over here playing with the toy again. Okay, what was Zoe's traits again? Oh yeah, a geek and a happy toddler. Hmm, I kind of feel like Zoe would maybe be like a really active sim when she grows up. So maybe we can go with like that type of career and everything. She can be like the athlete. Look at it. Aww. What are you sad from? Dancing. You're sad from dancing. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> Dang, Ren! Okay. Charlie, can you not? Please, just don't. Why do you have romance with her? What the heck? Oh my god, I hate this game. First kick, Bro. That needs to, like, not be a thing. Oh my god, Stella. You don't have to show off like that. <laughs> I seriously don't think there's anything we can do that'll prevent Charlie and Ren from being romantic. Because look. It says that she's his aunt, and yet they still freaking flirt. She found a little archaeology table and she's uh, <laughs> refining one of the crystals that she found. Oh, we need to get rid of her little fangs. All right, guys. Well, I think that we should probably go home now. Um, there isn't very much else to do here and i think that we should probably get into some other stuff as well like working on some skills i do want to get some bees for our plants because they are seriously like a miracle a miracle item in the sims if you're doing gardening it helps your plants so much all right so let's see where should we have the bees should we have them in here with our like really expensive plants that would make the most sense right i'm so glad you're in my life well that's so sweet thanks kate Okay, let's get the bees. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of skill building and whatnot. And what do we got next on the calendar? Uh, oh, Zoe and Luna's birthday in two days. We definitely have to keep playing until uh, that happens. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Zoe looks like as a teen. Do I wanna hang out tonight? Do I wanna go clubbing? Sure, why not? <laughs> I was gonna skill build, but this is way more fun. Maybe uh, Ren will meet someone there. A lot of you guys want her to be with Dawn from my uh, Mystical Motherhood series. I think they would get along really well. So I'll probably have to place her into the world. And uh, she's a young adult, right? Yeah, she is, so that works out. What do you wanna wear tonight, Ren? Let's put you in... Um, you have so many outfits, I love it. Let's put you in this. Well, let's go a little scandalous tonight, shall we? Oh my god, look, it's Kian! <gasps> Polite introduction. Oh my god! It's so weird having like my two series collide. Hello, I'm Ren, it's nice to meet you. So, um, I think that you... 
have a daughter, and she's going to the same university that my daughter is going to. <gasps> Kian, honey, no! Oh my goodness. That's not what I wanted at all. Um, perhaps we should just- uh, oh god. Oh, there it was. Asked to be just friends. Oh, Caleb's here. Oh my god, it's Rosie! <gasps> oh my god. Polite introduction. Okay, so she can, um, be like... Rosie, hi, 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 it's nice to meet you. So you're gonna be rooming with my daughter at university. Caleb, Caleb, this is Alice's roommate. Can you please just keep an eye on her? She's like going full on parent mode. She's like, it's okay, I've got a lot of cash from my inheritance. Oh my gosh, Oliver's ghost is here. I'll take care of her, don't worry. And I hope to see more of you. All right, let's see who's here. We got Silas, we got Max, Villarreal. Okay, we've got Belinda, we've got Bjorn, I think. This is Bjorn, right? Oh no, Masato Yamamoto. <laughs> And then, who's this? Michael? Michael? I've literally never met a girl named Michael before. Ever in my life. Oh my god! Are you- Fool, please stop. Oh my god, what the- Dude. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, who's in there? Can- Woohoo with Silas? I mean, you guys- I don't want you to, like, try for baby, but you guys can, like, kiss each other if you want. Holy cannoli. I guess her and Caleb still do have that, uh, spark. Oh, it was those two. Wow. Don't forget to do your skincare. Thank you, Dorian. Who are you getting negative with? What are you- Sing so- Stop! Oh god, okay. You wanted to hug up in the closet but you won't even kiss me? Or hug me? Whatever. Ooh, ooh, who's this again? Amara Urban? I think she might be married. This is the girl from, um, from my- Was it spinning a wheel to create my sim? Something like that. Hello. Nice to meet ya. I'm Ren. Oh my god, her and Caleb. Their relationship is so weird. Oh. Oh, right! She's married to Jalen. Jalen is the one that was flirting with Alice at school. Oh my gosh, messy. Who's this guy? Caden Stanford. I feel like this is one of your guys' sims. It's definitely not my sim, but he looks familiar. Let's give him a play introduction. Oh my god, someone got in a fight. <gasps> Rosie and this guy are fighting? Rosie, darling. Kian's like, Rosie, what the heck are you doing? Stop fighting! Why are they fighting? That is very weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ren. Dude, what is it? What is it with these freaking people? She doesn't even have the vampiric charm. And people are still flirting with her. Oh god. This is messy. Maybe we should give Ren the serial romantic uh, aspiration. I think that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? All right, let's go home before something else happens. I mean, <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Dude. No, freaking- oh no. Silas, stay in the bathroom. I don't want to get your heart broken. They're freaking trying for baby, you guys. I swear to god if she gets pregnant with this random dude. Oh, this guy! Yes, yes, yes! He's from my, um, giving your sims a makeover video. And he's married and he has children. I swear, if she gets pregnant, take a pregnancy test, you dumb, dumb, dumb vampire. I- Oh my god, Silas is sad. A plasma pack on the toilet. Classy. Oof. 
I, uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I told, oh my god, I told her to go home, and then I click on her, and it zooms into her and this guy trying for baby in the closet, and now she's freaking pregnant. It took us so long to get Ren pregnant in the, in the freaking before, and now it's just that easy. I have autonomous try for baby turned off too. Dude, it was probably risky hookup in the closet, wasn't it? Oh, and now she can't do anything romantic. Ren, what the heck is wrong with you? She's so reckless. Goes to the club one time, hooks up with some guy in the closet and ends up pregnant. The bartender too, oh lord, help me. We need to go home. Go home, Ren. No more closet woohoos. How do you feel about this? You are married and you have a bunch of other children. He's laughing like it's a joke. It's not a joke, dude. Not a joke even a little bit. It's like, oh crap. What am I gonna tell my wife? Okay, guys, you guys are gonna have to let me know. You guys are gonna have to let me know what we should do. Should we keep it or should we have or end the pregnancy. I kind of like, the thing I like most about this challenge is it's just like, it's real. Like it has a lot of realism in it and um, it's very unpredictable. Like you have no idea what's gonna happen. So, I don't know. It's like we're moving Alice out so that we could make room so that Stella and Charlie can have more babies and now it's like, Okay, well now Ren, Ren is pregnant again. I don't know guys. I'm, I'm like half interested in seeing the kid and then half not interested. Like, I don't know, maybe Ren... I know it was an accident, but maybe Ren secretly wants another kid that's a vampire that wants to stay a vampire, you know? Ay 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 Ren, you are a freaking mess, dude. You are a freaking mess. Okay, Alice, um, where's the mailbox again? Right, let's go ahead and scholarships, apply for scholarships. All right, there you go, Bean. You have applied to uni. Aww, the ghost of Batman is here. How the heck did he die? I'm, did he get struck by lightning or did he, did he die of old age? You good? She's tense and she's dancing. Wow. I've never seen that before. Oh, what are you eating over here? Is that a ham sandwich? Is it not good? Okay. <laughs> oh boy. What, what skill do we want to work on for Ren? Oh yeah, we were doing baking. Right, she's level six. So we can do a little bit more of that, yeah? Let's bake fudge bars. Freaking Ren and her pregnant belly. Oh my god, girl. You seriously pissed me off. Seriously. Oh god, someone's streaking. Who is that? Charlie! Fool, can you please? Can you not? Why are you even doing that? Well, today's air day. What do we have to do for air day again? Play games, mischief spirit, and do some gardening. Okay, well why don't you come and do some mischief on Stella over here. And then we can... Let's enter a game tournament. Professional, we'll do... Genie's Curse. I bet that's his favorite game. Alice's archaeology skill is getting up there. She's almost maxed it, which is really exciting. Uh, she excavated another Amazonite harvest knife. Wow. Okay, what else can we do here? Uncover. She has a few artifacts that she can uncover, so that's good. She can work on that skill. Zoe is working on her mental skill over here on the chess table. And then, Felix, baby, how are your skills? You're working on your motor? That's fine. Wait, did you win? No prize this time. How can you have a max video game skill and not win tournaments? Wow, look at this. Oh my god. Golden Setlitzil- Sorry, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's a rare artifact! And it's beautiful! Oh my god, that's so exciting. Her room is gonna be just like, full of artifacts by the time we're done. Oh, she has one right here too. It's almost Luna's birthday. Yes, 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 we know. Banana cream pie! 
for sure getting down on that. Where's all that other stuff that you baked? Oh, oh my god, how cute. Look at the little bread puddings. Let's put them in the house over here so that everyone can enjoy them. Oh, hi, Patchy. Oh my god, that pie looks amazing. Look at that. Oh. All right, you guys, last but not least for this episode, we need a cake. Yes, I've been making Ren bake a crap ton of stuff. <laughs> uh, we need a cake for the two beans to age up in this episode, and then we're gonna end it. Let's make a zombie cake since they're both little kids. I don't think we're gonna throw a big party for them. I think we should just um, have the family here and... Yeah, that's about it. Because I don't think... Does Zoe have any friends? Oh, she knows a few people, but she doesn't really have friends. All right. So, it is four in the morning, but it is their birthday. So, let's go ahead and age up Zoe and give her a teenage makeover. Uh, so, let's make a wish. Charlie, I need you to get up. I need you to celebrate good times. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. Everyone come celebrate! Happy birthday, Zoe! Yay! I'm so excited to see what her aspiration's gonna be. This is the new air, you guys. The new air. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm so nervous as per usual. This is the new air. We're about to see what the new air is all about. Are you guys ready? I'm not ready. Oh my god! No way! Clumsy and purveyor of potions. Okay, so she got a little bit of Charlie in there and a little bit of Stella. Or a lot of bit of Stella. I guess she wants to follow in her mom's footsteps. It's definitely not what I would have chose, but this challenge definitely uh, pushes me outside my comfort zone, that's for sure. I wanted her to be really active, but I guess she can still be. And I guess it makes sense because uh, she is a spellcaster, so it makes sense that she would want to do potions, right? All right. Um, all right. Purveyor of potions. The Sim wants to learn every potions recipe and craft each one. Okie dokie then. There you have it. What do you look like, love? Let me have a look at you. Oh my god, she looks just like freaking Stella, you guys. Look at that. Wow. She's like bomb. <laughs> She's so bomb. Okay, uh, right. Let's pause, add more candles, and um, age up Miss Luna. No more toddlers. Come on, baby. Let's age you up, okay? Here we go. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Little mama and daughter with like icy blonde hair. I love it. I love it. Okay, Miss Luna. <laughs> Time to see what you're all about. All right, let's see what Miss Luna's all about. Creative and whiz kid. Okay, wow. She got creative too. Uh, that's what Felix got as well. We don't really have a lot of, um, variety, do we? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, shoot. Uh, right. Luna, she maxed the... She maxed movement, and she maxed another one, too. Which one was it? Oh, thinking. Okay. And then Zoe... She maxed a few. She maxed mental... She maxed motor and what was the other one? Oh, social. Oh my god, she freaking maxed three skills as a child. Wow. She was like super quick learner. Okay, let's have a look at them and create a sim. Been recording for three hours. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Okay, Zoe, let's have a look at you. That is some interesting makeup. Oh my gosh, look at her with this hair, you guys. She looks exactly like Stella. Like, I don't see any Charlie in her. She just kind of has like a darker skin tone. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, guys, this is what I came up with for Zoe for now. I think her trait combination, a clumsy geek, is actually really, really, really adorable. 
Um, so yeah, this is her face and the hair that I maybe am going to choose. I kind of want to spend more time with her and create a sim than I just did right now. Um, and give her kind of like a more unique style. But I'm running out of space on my memory card, so I have to make this quick. But I really like this, actually. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments what you think of it. And then Miss Luna here. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Take off all this crap. Give you your eyes back. I definitely see more of Charlie in Luna than I do see um, Stella. All right, guys, and here is Luna. I kind of gave her like a more quirky style just because she's um, creative. So I don't know, maybe she'll grow up to dress kind of funkier than everyone else, but she's super, super pretty. I love her look so much. So yeah, those are the three kids. We got Luna. We got Mr. Felix here, and we got Zoe, who's like so pretty. So freaking pretty. You guys are gonna have to let me know like what kind of hair you want her to have. I um I was going between this hair and uh, there's this hair with bangs that looked really good on her too. I think it was this one. I think this is adorable as well. So I don't know. I'm like, I'm very torn. I'm very, very torn. But I'm going to leave it as this hair for now. Well, I'm going to leave this episode right here because I have six more minutes left on my memory card. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed how we turned Alice and all that good stuff. Please let me know in the comments whether Ren should keep this freaking baby. Uh, let me know um, if you guys like Zoe's look. And in the next episode, we will send Alice off to uni and then... Hopefully, Stella and Charlie can have another baby. And yeah, we'll figure out what to do with Ren's baby as well. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!